Learning objectives include chemicals as antimicrobial agents. Uh, the first chemical is alcohol. Alcohol, and that include ethanol and isopropanol. Uh, the mechanism of action is uh, the de denatured proteins and also dissolved lipids. Uh, it is very interesting to note that 100% is not as effective as 70% uh, is. So water basically increases their penetration power. Uh, so diluted solutions of alcohols are used as disinfectant. Heavy metals are also used as chemical disinfectants. They include silver, mercury, and uh, copper. Silver nitrate very commonly used in neonatal babies that suffer from eye infection due to gonorrhea. Silver sulfadiazine uh, is also used uh, as a topical uh, cream on burns. Copper sulfate is another example that we use as an algicide, alga or algae, which is a you know green substance floating on in the ponds, uh, you might have noticed. Uh, that also secrete uh, toxins and can kill animals, especially those animals that drink that water. So in order to prevent the growth of algae or al alga in the, in the water ponds, we use copper sulfate. This is uh, their mechanism of action, all these heavy metals, denatured proteins, and they are also required uh, in very small quantities. That small quantities basically is, is called oligodynamic action. That means they're really needed in very, very small quantities. Other chemical agents, the group is called surface active agents. They include soap, which is commonly we use soap as uh, sometimes. Please remember that many of us know that soap probably kills organisms. That is not true. It basically removes them mechanically. But some soaps, they are added with other chemicals, other dis disinfectant. They could be used as antiseptic. So ordinary soap is basically a mechanical removal of uh, germs from the surface, especially from the skin or hands. Acid and ionic detergents, they are also used san as a sanitizing agents. Quaternary ammonium is, is another surface active agent. It's very commonly used as a bactericidal, and, and it also denatures proteins and disrupt plasma membrane. And as you know, uh, all enzymes in, in the bacteria and the mi microbes, they're proteins. And if they're denatured, enzymes would not work, and the bacteria or microbes would not be able to grow. They also disrupt plasma membrane. And as you know, if plasma membrane is disrupted or damaged, uh, the integrity of the cell is compromised and the cell won't survive. Sometimes we also use chemicals for the preservation of food and they inhibit metabolism. Uh, sorbic acid, benzoic acid, and calcium propionate are examples. Similarly, a nitrite, they're also used. Uh, they prevent endospore germination. And sometimes antibiotics are also added into the food as a food preservatives. Uh, very commonly used uh, antibiotics are nicene and natamycin, especially uh, for prevention of the cheese spoilage. Aldehydes, another group of chemicals, and two chemicals in aldehydes, glutaldehyde and formaldehyde, are very commonly used. Formaldehyde is kind of pungent and also carcinogenic, so not very often used, but there are situations where you have to use uh, for a disinfection of the oil microorganisms that are very dangerous or they are virulent or very pathogenic. In summary, um, we have a host of antibacterial agents available with us and their use depends on the situations. 